Hey guys, what's up? Ben here from nocodetribe.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build this quick hover interaction on the link. It's really easy to build in Webflow and uh, it could improve your design and your user experience because I think it's always better if you show your user uh, when they hover over an element that it's clickable with some kind of interactions. So yeah, let's get started. Just a quick reminder as usual, if you want to visit the live preview of this component and uh, or clone it directly into Webflow, I put all the links in the description, so go check it out. Now, before we jump into Webflow, let's first have a look at what's going on when I interact with this hover effect. So, as you can see, when I hover over the link, there's a very nice and smooth uh, interaction happening, which I think is way better than just uh, having a simple link with an underline and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's better for the design and the user experience. So yeah, let's build this into Webflow. So as usual, I divided my project in two parts. So the top part here is the template with the finished component and the bottom part here is the, um, where I'm gonna rebuild this link. All right, let's start with the, the structure of the template. So in this, um, to this link, sorry. So I start with the link block here and inside this link block, very simple, I have a div block and a text block. So very, very simple and very quick to build this. Let's do it. So I'm gonna select here the bottom part, go get a link block. All right, here it is. I'm gonna give it a class name of link. And uh, inside this link block, I need a div block and a text block. So I need a div block here it is, and I need a text block, which went inside the div block, but I don't want it, I want it here under the div block. All right, uh, let's style those elements. So here's the link, let's have a look at the template. So I need a display flex, horizontal, align top, justify right. So I need a display flex, horizontal, top, right. Then I need a width of 233 pixels. So width 233. What else? Overflow hidden, position relative. Okay. Overflow, oops, overflow hidden, position relative. Then I need a weight of 600, size 20, height 50. Weight of 600, size 20, height 50. Color black, no underline. And there's one more uh, letter spacing four. Okay, so color, I'm gonna force it to black. All right, no underline, and I need this later spacing four, and uh, and the transition three hundred. That's gonna be for the hovering. You see, when I hover, I get an, uh, the color, the text color is changing to red, so that's why I have a transition here. Let's build this after I do the hover effect. So. Uh, that was it. So now I'm gonna go, sorry, back to the template. There's a hover here, as you can see, there's a blue dot. And this hover is the text color. I want to get this red when I hover over the, the link. So link here, I'm gonna go to the hover and uh, select text color here, red. Great. And now, I'm gonna build the, the, um, the transition down there, here, the color 300 milliseconds. So it means uh, I want a nice easing when I hover and not uh, like a straight red, black, red, black. So 300 on the font color. So transition here, font color, 
which is type typography font color here I want an ease of 300 all right and uh, let's replace this text here with the right text learn more and uh, yes if I hover I see it's already changing nice okay you see here this uh, this link is placed on the top left I'm gonna place it in the center for you guys to follow this tutorial it's gonna be easier so to do that I just have to select the section here and give the display flex all right now here it is okay so we are done with the styling of the link block now let's style the div block so this div block here called line I need a width of 50 height of 2 pixels so I'm gonna select my div block here give it a class name of line width of 50 height of 2 pixels all right then I need a position absolute with 50% on top so link position absolute 50% on top and 0% on the left 0% on left okay and I think yeah the background color I need this red here and that's it so the background color I don't want it transparent I want red all right so we are done with the styling of the line here now let's finish with the text block do I need a special styling maybe not no we just need to I'm just gonna give it a class name of text so I can uh, so I can uh, use it when I build my interaction all right so the styling is exactly the same I have my first uh, little interaction when I hover over this text I get it uh, red so we are done with the styling now let's build the interaction so here you can see this small icon it means there's an interaction on this link block let's have a look at uh, what it is so it's a mouse hover interaction on hover I have this interaction happening so I have four steps so the line so the line the with the line here on the left I wanted to size it 100% first so all like the whole width of the box of the link block then I want my text to move minus 65 pixels on the on the X to the left then I want my line to move to the right and then I want my lines to resize to 50 pixels so let's let's do this for our new component so first I'm going to do the line sizing 100% in 0 0.3 seconds is in and out so I'm going to select my uh, here my link block I want to create a new mouse hover interaction on hover I want to start an animation new interaction I'm going to call it hover on link and I'm gonna select my line plus so I want it to size in 0 0.3 seconds is in and out I want to go with 100 percent all right so that's our first step let's go back to the template mouse hover over on link so size 0 0.3 is and out 1 percent done now I want my text to move with a delay of 0 0.25 seconds I want it to move minus 65 pixels in 0 0.5 seconds with an ease of in and out so 0 0.25 0 0.5 0, minus uh, 65 0 0.25 0 0.5 minus 65 0 0.25 0 0.5 minus 65 hover on link so I want my text to move uh, 0, 0 0.25 0 0.5 minus 65 in and out I think yeah done let's 
go OK, in and out, minus 65. Now at, at zero 04, uh, delay zero 04 seconds, I want my line to move on X 182 pixels. So 0404, 04, 182 for the line. Let's go back to my new component. Hover. Um, okay, I made a mistake here. It's not 25, it's 0 0.25. Come on. 0, 0 0.25. Okay. Line. So at uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, in duration 0 0.4, 182. Okay, done. And the last step was the line here again. I want it to size, at one second, I want it to size back to 50 pixels. So, and uh, in zero seconds. Line, mouse hover, hover and link. So my line again here, size at one, duration zero, 50 pixels. All right, done. So I think now we're done with the, the hover on. If I preview, that's it. That's exactly what I want. Great. Now let's build the um, hover out interaction. So let's go back to the template. On hover out, I want to build this one here. So five steps. The first step is the line. I want it to move on X 233 pixels. Then I want to move my text back to original position. Then uh, the line is moving as well. Uh, the size is back to zero pixels. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna build this step by step. So first, the, step, the first step is the line move 233 in 0 0.2 seconds is out. So 0 0.2233. Link, mouse hover, so on hover out. I want to start an animation. Create a new hover out link. I want my line to move and uh, I don't remember. Sorry, go back to the template real quick. And uh, how much was the move? 0, 02233 is out. So, whoop, beam, beam. 0, 2, 2, 33 is out. Okay, so that's our first step. Done. Let's have a look at the second step in the template. So this one is done. Second step is the text. With a small delay of 0 0.1 seconds, I want the text to move back to original position in 0 0.2 seconds with an ease in. So 0102 is in original. Okay. So I want my text here, I select my text block. Move 0102, original position, is in. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the template for the third step. So the third step here is after previous action. So we have like this gap here. So after previous action, I want my line to move back to original position in zero second. And I want my line as well to go back to, uh, to size to zero pixel in zero seconds. So move and size zero, zero. Go to the template, uh, to the menu component here. So I want my line here to move in zero seconds 
and I want my line as well to, to size to zero pixels in zero seconds. Okay. And the last step, mouse hover, the last step is the line in 0 0.3 seconds after previous action. 0 0.3 seconds, I want my line to size back to 50 pixels is out. So 0, 03, 50 is out. Last step here, I select my line. So uh, it's move, no, it's not move. It's size, sorry. So I did this one, size 0, 03, 50 is out. Let's go back to the template uh, just to cross check I've done everything right. 0350, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I preview my new component here, I'm gonna go to the designer preview. I get my nice interaction. So here is the template. And here is my new component. So exactly the same. And we're done. So that's it for this quick and easy tutorial. Once again, if you want to visit the live preview of this component or clone it directly into your Webflow project, I put the links in the description, so go check it out. And if you want to find more Webflow components, interactions, and Webflow tutorials, go visit nocodetribe.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all the new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.